Hello all and welcome back to the class. Uh, today in this session you will be learning more words using the pictures. And this is my third video in the series of vocabulary through pictures. And those who have missed the first two videos can actually watch them. And I'll be giving you guys uh, the links uh, of those two videos in the description. Okay, so let's start the first word today. So the first word is blatant. And blatant is actually means, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's used to refer to the actions which are done in an obvious and open way without caring if people are shocked. So if I give you such a big definition, maybe it is not easy for you to remember. Now my association is, see here, blatant, you have something called tent, right? The concentrate on the last part actually, T-A-N-T, but I tell you uh, to keep in mind T-E-N-T. What is tent? Tent is a shelter made of a large sheet of, you know, canvas or, or nylon. So usually we set up tents, you know, uh, during uh, uh, maybe uh, marriage occasions or marriage functions or maybe uh, for birthday functions or for funeral activities, we set up tents. So let's say there is someone who is under the tent is actually changing his clothes. So can we do like that? Can we actually change our clothes under a tent, under a tent in, 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 a, in an open place when we are actually surrounded by people? It's not possible, right? In case if somebody is doing that, so that action is actually called as a blatant action. So blatant, you know, uh, an action is something that is done without caring what people are actually think about it okay people may get shocked okay now let me give you one more example there is uh, you know an example uh, yeah a blatant you know attempt to buy words okay this is what usually happens here it's a blatant attempt you know direct leaders they come to your home just before the election day they come home and they'll be distributing money to you it's a blatant task it's a blatant task okay so they don't care actually like how you actually feel when the money is distributed for buying goods fine Hope you have understood this word. Okay, to remember, a simple clue is doing actions in under tent. Okay, doing actions under tent. Okay, openly and publicly without bothering like what actually people think about it. So such an action is a blatant action. So the next word is bliss. It's a very easy word. Bliss actually means, you know, uh, extreme happiness. And yeah, I just gave you a very simple, you know, uh, maybe simple expression. Just by keeping this expression in your mind, you can remember this word. Ignorance is bliss. It's an idiom. Okay, it's an idiom. Ignorance is bliss, which means not knowing things sometimes, you know, makes you happy. Okay, so bliss is extreme happiness. It's a very, very easy word. Okay, and association is also very easy and simple. You can easily remember. The third word is blunt. Okay, you must have heard about blunt also. Blunt is, you know, uh, it's often used to refer to the uh, persons as well as, uh, you know, uh, to the remarks actually. It's of a person or of a remark. So when, you know, when I say blunt, it's very direct, saying exactly what you think without trying to be polite. So you may have many friends, you know, who are very blunt here. You can associate blunt with blind, you know, they just go blind actually, they don't care like what others think, they don't, you know, pretend, they just speak, you know, uh, whatever they want to. So, you know, you don't actually pretend or you don't try to be polite, you just go on speaking what you want, you speak very directly, you speak exactly and such, a, you know, such a comment or such a person, you can use this word to refer to person like he's a blunt person. Or you can also use to refer to the comments or the language used by the people. It's a blunt remark. Okay. Done. And next, you know, yes, this is easy. Bogus. Okay. Bogus is, you know, pretending to be real or genuine. It's not something which is genuine. It's easy. Okay. Let's not waste our time. You can easily remember this word bogus. And the next word, brash. Okay. So brash, my, you know, the co code is be rash. Okay. Remember rash. Brash actually means, you know, uh, confident in an aggressive way. Somebody who is confident in an aggressive way is actually known as a brash guy. Okay. So beneath uh, his brash exterior, he is still a little boy inside. Okay. When I say he is still a little boy. Okay. And now this man is showing, you know, brash behavior. That means he is confident in an aggressive way. Okay. He is hasty. He is rash. He is uh, impertinent. These, these can be used as synonyms. 
remember rash behavior is brash rash behavior is brash and rash behavior is often shown in an immature state usually teenagers between 13 to 19 they have this behavior teenagers are always brash okay done next word and the next word is brittle and yeah i'll give you a code to this word and brittle Brittle is uh, you know, a set of leather bands attached to reins and it is often put around a horse head and used for controlling it. Now you can see brittle here in this picture, right? And this, you know, uh, this set of leather bands attached to reins is actually called as a brittle. And why do we use a brittle? To control the horse. And now my association is, you know, let's brittle, you know, you have a word called bride. You know that bride is... Uh, you know a young woman uh, and then uh, bride is you know in telugu it's pellukutru right and the bridegroom is pellukoduku right and i i go i am associating bridle to bride and the bride actually uses the bridle to control the bridegroom so <laughs> okay bride uses the bridle to control the bridegroom okay so after the marriage okay she you know uses a bridle to control the bridegroom and maybe it is true in some cases not in all cases but still it's just for fun and yeah it's easy to remember also and when you use brittle as a verb you know it's a noun here and you can also use it as a verb and when you use it as you know a, a, a verb it is to show that you are annoyed and or off, uh, offended at something actually it has a different meaning she brittled at the suggestion that she was lying so you know you're trying to show that you are annoyed or offended at something okay done and the next word is uh, calamity calamity is very very easy to remember because you must have heard this word many a times when uh, during your science classes and of course in social classes also during the history classes also you must have heard this word natural calamities or natural disasters it's very very easy and the next word is uh, camaraderie Camaraderie, uh, you know, actually means it's a feeling of friendship and trust among people who work or spend, you know, a lot of time together. That means, you know, it's it's almost like, uh, you know, like-mindedness. It's a feeling of friendship between people who have uh, the similar ideas or interests. Now, here the clue for you is, uh, you know, camaraderie. The clue for you is uh, the word called, uh, uh, the word called comrade. You must have heard this word, right? Comrade. Have you ever heard this word comrade? What is actually meant by comrade in English is it's a person who is, you know, a member of the same communist or socialist, you know, political party. So when you say this word comrade, you can also uh, use comrade as a synonym for friend. He's a friend or other person that you work with, especially as soldiers during the war. So here comrades or the people, okay, who have similar interests, you know. So, with the people whom you work, you develop friendship. So, camaraderie is a feeling of friendship, you know, and trust among people. So, when you come across this word, camaraderie, so what should strike your mind is comrade and with the help of which you should guess the meaning of this. Okay. And the next word is candid. So, what is candid? Candid is, you know, uh, saying what you think openly and honestly. So, you can use candid as a synonym for blunt. Okay. We already discussed blunt. And the candid is a synonym for it because you speak openly and honestly, not hiding your thoughts. So, you know, let's say a candid statement. A candid statement is a very open statement or a candid interview. It's an open interview. Okay, there will be no hidings actually. And easy, easy to remember. And the next word is catharsis. And what is catharsis? This is important. Catharsis, you know, actually it's a process of releasing strong feelings. For example, through plays or other artistic activities. Okay, it's one of the dramatic techniques. And this technique is proposed or suggested by Plato, uh, sorry, Aristotle in Poetics. That is the history. But what's important here is it's a Greek word, catharsis, and it has been originated from katharos. Katharos means pure, actually. Okay, katharos means pure. So, catharsis is a process where, you know, you try to clean yourself or pure yourself by getting rid of your worries. And to do this, there are different, you know, methods. Actually, one, the best thing is by, 
you know uh, providing really you know no, by actually uh, taking part in artistic activities or probably through plays or you know of late meditation meditation is very you know uh, very uh, very well very well practiced method or approach to you know clean yourself or to reduce your burdens so catharsis is uh, a process where you actually you know uh, release yourself from strong feelings okay so here the clue word is cathar uh, catharsis means cleans please connect this you know uh, to clean okay done and the next word is uh, the next word for you is cauldron cauldron is a very easy word you must have you know seen many look at this picture you see a cauldron here right okay you can see a large deep pot here okay uh, for that is actually used for boiling liquids or cooking food over fire so this is cauldron and my association for this word is called drun associate drun drun to drum okay it's a large drum simple and it's a drum you know that is actually used you know for boiling liquids or cooking food okay and drun and drum cauldron called drum okay cauldron is a large deep pot okay done next word so the next word is uh, caustic and caustic can be associated cost 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 so it can be associated with custom in telugu custom you know uh, ravana custom custom is a place where dead bodies are burnt okay it's a burial ground you know in some part of ap so burial grounds are actually called as custom it's a place where bodies are burnt so actually caustic is you know it's of a, a chemical substance something that is able to destroy or dissolve other substances so a caustic you know uh, is uh, is a synonym for corrosive okay let's say there is a product which is you know uh, it's a caustic cleaning product so it is often used to destroy the other substances and when you use it in literary lit, uh, you know literary sense caustic comments or caustic wit okay it's, uh, it's a very sharp comments her speech was caustic attack on government officials okay i'm done next word the next word is uh, chagrin so my association for chagrin is uh, to charge somebody in charge in chagrin charge in chagrin so you charge somebody in you know when you charge somebody in or when you force i mean when you push somebody behind the bars it's a very bad feeling it's a feeling of being disappointed or annoyed okay so chagrin is a very bad feeling it's very easy to remember now i'll give you an example to her chagrin neither of her sons become became doctors she wanted her sons to become doctors but unfortunately they didn't so then you can use this expression to her chagrin neither of her sons became doctors done the next word and the next word is uh, chronic chronic you know actually means it's lasting for a long time difficult to cure or get rid of it's you know uh, a word that you have you know you must have heard many a times it's a very frequently used word you know chronic uh, you know arthritis or chronic asthma when i say chronic asthma it's a disease uh, which is uh, difficult to cure or get rid of because it's it's been lasting for a long time so anything that is that lasts for a long time or has been lasting for a long time can be called as chronic and here the association is chron chron actually you know uh, means time okay it's a it's from greek chronikos which actually means time you know you have many words you know uh, you have many words you know uh, that that have been originated from this root uh, one is chronical and the other one is uh, chronic and you have synchronize asynchronize synchronous and asynchronous all these words you know they have got chron in it so chron actually means time okay thank you and the next word next word is uh, clamorous so what is clamorous and my association to you guys uh, to learn this word is uh, clamorous associate this with glamorous because clamor actually means to demand something loudly clamor is to demand something loudly that means you come into streets and you cry there you know public you know public public you know they come out of their homes they come into the streets and they cry out you know a public outcry is actually called as clamor so you know when you refer to something as clamorous it is full of noise actually it's full of you know noise and full of buzz so it's a clamorous outcry now 
I asked you guys to associate this word with glamorous. Why are people crying? Why are, you know, they, they, they are making a lot of noise because they lack glamour. So lacking glamour leads to clamour. Lacking glamour leads to clamour. Let's say there are a group of people who are not glamorous and they have come out you know, of their homes and now they are crying. Actually, they are crying. Why aren't we glamorous? Okay, so this has led to clamorous. Associate clamour with glamour. Done. Next word. Yeah, this word is very easy. The next word is clandestine. Clan. C-L-A-N. Okay, associate clan to plan. Okay, plan is something that is done secretly. Done right, it's easy to understand and it's easy to remember. Clan can be associated with plan. Okay, a clandestine meeting is a secret meeting. So why do you actually make plans? You plan, you know, because you want to do something secretly. Plan itself is something which is secret. Right, you know, done secretly or kept secret is actually what is meant by clandestine. So a clandestine meeting or a relationship is a secret meeting. Okay, it's it's planned. It's a planned activity. It's a planned task. Okay, clan associate, uh, you know, uh, this clan with plan. The next word. Next word is uh, cognizant. Cognizant, you know, you have got gnan here. Cogn, gnan, gnan, cogn, cogn is gnan. Gnan means knowledge. And cognizant or to be cognizant of something is to be fully aware of something, to be informed of something. You know, you know, com you know completely about something is actually what is meant by cognizant. Cognizance is knowledge or understanding of something. Okay, complete understanding or complete knowledge of something is actually called as cognizance. Gnan, gnan is the clue here which means knowledge. And the next word, and the next word is uh, compassion. Compassion is having passion towards others, a strong feeling of sympathy for people who are suffering and, you know, and a desire to help them. Okay, to feel or show compassion is to have, you know, sympathy, a feeling of sympathy for others. Okay, compassion. Remember, passion itself is the clue here. Having passion for others is compassion. The next one is compatible. Compatible is... Uh, a very easy word actually compatible means when two people are compatible they can have a good relationship because they have similar ideas or interests okay so compatible and antonym for compatible is incompatible incompatible now i'll give you a clue here to remember com is with or together actually remember c o n or c o m actually means with or together now pat here can be associated with patra patra in English, uh, sorry, Patri in Hindi or in you know Urdu or in Telugu or in Sanskrit, Patra actually has a meaning called role, and Kam is actually with or together, which is nothing but same, and Patra is role. So compatible, you know, compatible is having the same role, which means same interests, same you know uh, maybe same interests or same likes. Such people are actually you know are easy to be compatible with. Okay, so she found a compatible partner here and now that's the reason they are dancing. So in case if there is a person with whom she cannot, you know, uh, find compatibility, I don't think that they can dance together. Okay, now I'll give you a simple example to remember this word compatible. She found a compatible partner through a computer dating agency and with the help of that dating agency, she could find, she could find a compatible partner partner so compatible com is with or together and part can be associated with path which means role please do remember next word the next word is component and i don't really need to explain this word especially for computer engineers they all know what are meant by components and of course they know what is meant by component and component is an abstract part of something it forms part of the whole done easy the next word is condolence yes i don't really need to explain this word I hope that everybody knows the meaning of condolence. And the next word is criterion. Now, this is easy to remember. Criterion, what is meant by criterion? Have you ever heard this word? Criterion actually means a standard or principle by which something is judged. It, it is a, you know, a benchmark for something. A standard uh, uh, or uh, sorry, it's a ad stick. I'm sorry, it's not a benchmark. It's an ad stick. It's a standard or principle by which something is judged so criterion you can associate criterion crite crite to kruti kruti is a task okay so you are actually referring to a task or a principle by which something is judged 
so criterion is the basis for evaluation fine done please do remember and uh, and the next word is uh, crumble crumble yeah my association is associate this word with dumble okay dumble crumble and dumble dumble is something you know it's a weight it's a weight that is actually used during the process of exercises you lift weights right and when the weight of the dumbbell is too much or it's more you become crumble you cannot actually handle it okay you become crumble okay so crumble is actually uh, means to begin to fail or get weaker or to come to an end it is to begin to fail or get weaker or to come to an end so you can remember this word by associating crumble with dumbbell when the weight of dumbbell is too you know uh, too too much and if you cannot handle that weight you get weaker and of course you come to an end also so let's take an example here a crumbling business or crumbling relationship which uh, actually means a business or relationship that is getting weaker or that is going to end soon okay done the next word is uh, cryptic crypt can be associated kra you know instead of kra if you use ga cryptic becomes guptic gupt is a secret okay so remember it's very easy cryptic guptic guptic is secret it's cryptic kra kra and ga ka ga right next curtail curtail is just cut tail curtail is to cut tail let's say the tail is too much okay it's crossing the you know limit and what you do here so when you find something too much you need to cut so curtail is to cut the tail and when you are curtailing something you are limiting something okay you are limiting something actually you limit something to make it last for a shorter time that is what is meant by curtail for example spending on books has been severely curtail which means you are reducing the time because you've been spending more more, more time on books and you want to this you have decided to curtail that time that means you reduced your time of on spending books and you can also use it for another example the lecture was curtail by the fire alarm going off okay because they reduced uh, the time of the lecture the lecture was curtailed okay it was limited done easy curtail is to cut tail okay cut tail that means you are reducing its limit next deadlock the next word is uh, deadlock yeah here the clue is lock actually it's locked okay when something is locked you cannot open it when you cannot open it you cannot enter when you cannot enter there is no progress so deadlock is you know it's uh, the lock is completely dead which means it cannot be opened any further so it's a failure to reach to agreement actually to settle an argument you cannot settle an argument because it's completely locked it's a deadlock it's a failure to reach to agreement that means it's a stalemate you know something got struck there is no progress there is no progress actually okay easy it's a very easy easy word to remember and my association as i told you dead lock lock is the clue here next debacle debacle is uh, you know a very very easy word debacle it's an event or situation that is complete failure and causes embarrassment debacle is a complete failure whereas deadlock is you know a stalemate wherein you find no progress actually you cannot come to a conclusion or you cannot reach to an agreement in a deadlock you know situation but debacle is completely a failure it's a complete failure and this often causes embarrassment okay now here this picture actually tells you a debacle is a complete disaster one of the kind that leaves you standing on the top of your own sinking car and such a situation is very very embarrassing it's a failure actually you cannot escape from that you know problem and it also you are inability it actually elevates your inability of handling a situation okay so that is debacle and the next word is uh, debris debris is the next word actually debris means you know a piece of wood or a metal or brick which is actually left you know after something has been destroyed so debris debris are leftovers after you destroy something the leftovers can be called especially the pieces of wood or metal or bricks are called as debris and the association for this is the game you must have played this game it's a video game you know uh, tetris tetris the name of this game is tetris 
so what you are doing here is you are you know you making use of these small pieces of bricks to construct the you know pillars or to construct the walls so tetris and debris this you know association between these two is sounding association tetris and debris uh, but the clue for you here is uh, you know the pieces of uh, these uh, small pieces which are actually used uh, in this game okay so these pieces can be associated with pieces of wood or metal or brick which is actually known as debris and the next word is decade you know decade right so in simple words 10 years is a decade you know and this decade is from sanskrit dasa dasa is a deca okay decade the sabdam is equal to 10 years it's very easy the next word declivity yes antonym to activity and when i was discussing that word i told you ac plus cli cli is you know height actually climb ac is towards ac ac ad af ag al ap at they all mean two or towards these are all prefixes and now you know here you are not climbing upwards you are climbing downwards the you know downward slope is actually known as declivity the upward slope is acclivity so declivity is an antonym for acclivity easy and the next word is decorum the next word is uh, decorum can you tell me what is the clue here i know with which we can associate this word deca deca you can tell now yes decorate decorate what do you do when you decorate you set everything in a proper manner and decorum is also about your manner it's about polite behavior decorum is polite behavior that is appropriate in a social situation so you need to show right decorum in the right situation especially when you are in public okay so like to maintain dignified behavior you like to keep the decorum of a place intact this is what is meant by decorum decorum is to decorate yourself okay and to behave properly done the next word is deem yes okay it's a very easy word and you must have heard it many a times deemed to be university what is meant by deem deem is to consider okay deem you know in simple words it is to consider for example i deem it an honor to be invited so i consider it as an honor to be invited the evening was deemed a great success that means the evening was considered a great success okay she deemed it prudent not to say anything that means she considered it prudent she considered it prudent here means she considered it wise or correct not to say anything okay so deemed to be university means you consider it to be a university to be a university to be a university fine done so these are the words for today we have discussed almost 20 to 25 words and i want you guys to give a reading to all these words and there are many words that you already know because as i told you we are right now we are discussing level one words and once we are done with all these level one words from alphabetical letters a to z i'll be starting level two and level three which are very difficult okay so hope you know you're all enjoying my videos please do like comment and subscribe and also share with your friends and please don't forget pressing the bell button thank you so much and keep learning enjoy learning and in case if you have any queries or questions okay you can get in touch with me okay you can call me or you can text me okay you're always welcome thank you so much and take care bye bye